Sunday morning, uh, here we are in uh, Sturgis. Uh, we're heading out over to Mount Rushmore with the boys. We're gonna see what's up out there. It's been a great six days, I think, so far. Yeah, I had a nice breakfast at home this morning. We actually barbecued last night, with, which is great. We love doing that with the boys. After Rushmore, uh, probably go to Boar's Nest and then go watch Lance call the, the, the brawl, the bell brawl. Watch yeah, what's so going on. We'll end up at the chip just hanging out and uh, finish off our last day here. We're going to leave tomorrow morning heading for home. Fathers up there. Pretty cool. I don't think there'll be any defacing today. No. America the beautiful. Mount Rushmore, baby. Yeah. Mount Rushmore. This is so awesome. I can't even believe we're here. I'm so glad you're checking it out. Is it your first time too? yeah. What do you think, Josh? That's pretty gnarly looking. Yeah? What do you think? I dig it. I'm glad these guys, uh, we didn't just stop outside and hey, take a pick. Yeah. If you look hard enough, you could see Richie Rich. You know, <laughs> <laughs> They're Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> Such a cool place, America. I love America. I love America. So we're uh, here at Mount Rushmore, and uh, what a great thing to see. Um, just look at that view up there. What do you got for us? Yeah, it's pretty incredible. This uh, started in 1927, the construction of these vases. And you're in the Black Hills here in South Dakota. These are granite uh, rocks that they carved the president's faces out of. They're about 60 feet high. Um, and then if you kind of pan around, you'll see the flag line down here. This has got every uh, flag uh, with our great states in it. and. Uh, Pretty darn cool to see this stuff all together. It gives you a great American feeling, you know? Awesome. We'll see you on down the road. Yep. So we were talking about Mount Rushmore outside. Um, we didn't really get into the labor, but there were about 400 uh, men that were miners, lumbers, ranchers, uh, that worked over 14 years, labored hard. Yeah, so they'd hoist them up in these uh, buckets they called swing seats. Uh, and they had blasting materials, they had chisels, and it took them a long time, but what ended up happening is they were so enriched with what they were building and the love for the country. It was like a day, you know, any other day, a great day at work. Uh, so really dedicated their lives to, to help building this out of, you know, 14 years of their life, it was a long time. There's some great shots of kind of the men that worked on it. So Rob just, uh, this is his first time. He actually paid for us to get in here. So we appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely my pleasure. You guys, you know, take the time to come up here. I know you guys have done it before. And uh, I know it's always good to see, but it really is a great gesture to bring up me and the other new guys that have never been here. We get to see it from Mount Rushmore. It's really it's spectacular. Amazing. It is, you know, it's something you can't, you have to see it. Get on a bike, ride at Mount Rushmore. Since once it is moved. It's crazy they have this trolley system, you know? Then these guys that hang off the face and carve, glass. That's called the uh, profile view.
out running through the downtown showing Rob, all the boys. Pretty cool. Just left the boar's nest, man. So we're out here in uh, Sturgis. Uh, we're at the Buffalo Chip right now. We had lunch at the Boar's Nest, and we met some friends. But uh, it's a really unique thing. We're at the Bell Brawl right now, and we got a bike ripping by. Um, but anyway, Galen? Yeah, so we're having lunch, and uh, Patrick and Allison came up and mentioned that they follow us. And it was great to see some people out on the road. And uh, how did you guys come about our channel? Yeah, so I started following Two Lane Live whenever it started. I've been following Lance Boy, your son, for a couple years now. I've been following the Highway Men. I've been seeing you guys post all the information and everything. I've seen a few podcasts, and uh, it kind of just helped me out. So wonderful. Where yeah. are you guys from? Alabama. Tus Tuscaloosa, Alabama, baby. Go Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's right. right. And they said that they watched our packing for Sturgis to get ready for this trip. Absolutely. I've watched all the videos you guys have released so far about where you guys go. You guys always go to Arizona and everything like that. But yeah, you guys helped me pack for Sturgis. So I walked that, and uh, yeah, it really helped us out. And our bikes are decked in thrash and supply. Absolutely. We love all <laughs> the products, the the bag, the pegs, the shifter pedal, everything. Y'all gotta get it. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so we always love meeting two lane fans and thrashing fans. So Absolutely. yeah, and one one thing, uh, Patrick uh, served our country. He was in the Marine Corps. So we want to thank you for your service. Thank you, sir. We appreciate Thanks, that. Thanks, Patrick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for taking a little bit of time. And We're hanging out. So, yeah. Two lane life friends right here. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Down the road. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys. The things you see in Sturgis. try and get through uh, Wyoming and maybe somewhere in Utah? Uh, that's, Lust, that's, that's not happening. Lust, that's that's not happening. In, we'll get to somewhere in Wyoming. Okay. 
Stay so, tuned. Uh, I know it's all, it all depends on you guys. Some of you have only got a few hours sleep in you. Yeah, I got like 45 to an hour. Now, there's also, like really? Rob said, we should go down the road here and up or across and up because it's a bumper to bumper. So we got to lock up the house. All right, let's push these bikes up. So Sturgis is over, but the journey home is beginning. That's right. It's been a great uh, few days here. Appreciate all the camaraderie with the, the, the boys. And then we've had some fans. We just had a couple pull up today. Uh, they're headed to Yellowstone, Jay Ruiz Jr. and his crew. Uh, you had a guy pull up this morning. They're yeah. taking pictures of the bikes. They're finding us at the house, but that's cool. It's pretty We're fun. having fun. We're like Kylie Jenner. <laughs> See you down the road. <laughs> Midwest Wyoming on our way back from Sturgis probably about three or four hours in uh, we found a loose we had a noise rattling on the bike so they found the bolt and they're doing a tightening little surgery job right now and it's again the uh, bung plug on the exhaust really yeah and, okay well there you go so these are the kind of things that can happen on the road right yeah, and uh, we talked about that, uh, you know, in our packing uh, video as well. It's like you got to pack your tools because you never know what you're going to need out there. And then when you do pack some tools, then you realize what tools you really need. So you pack different ones the next year. Yep. So, cool. Yeah. I'll see you down the road. Wyoming uh, kind of a cool looking little town right here we're gonna check out some uh, burgers and food at Buck's Sports Grill what's the plan here well it's uh, what's that song should I stay or should I go <laughs> we're gonna get in and have a little grub and then decide are we gonna pull the Provo or stop in Rock Springs and I think we're gonna try to push the Provo I think so then I mean, we'll be home tomorrow in two how days. far is Provo about 250 miles, 280 miles. I think we can do it. Yeah. This town looks real quiet today. 
But hey, we're gonna check it out. Going in. Thank you. Looks like this is the home of the outlaws. see where today takes us yeah we'll uh, end up going the backside um, gonna run uh, past uh, Park City Heber City jet down into Provo and then we're gonna try to make it to Vegas so we got about a 700 mile run in us today get out early get there and relax and then uh, home tomorrow yeah I think we could do the 700 miles just depends on the, the young guys that are with us they <laughs> might not be able to do it hey they went to bed early they've got a good night rest on them they should be able to do it right right so we'll check it out stay tuned see you down the road what's going on we're just hanging out here in uh, Rock Spring Rock Spring Wyoming uh, we are on day nine now we're gonna try to cover about 700 miles today to Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, we haven't done a 700 mile day trip. Keep in mind, we've been on the road for nine days, so it's not like, oh, it's just like a two or three day trip. Yeah, 700 miles, no, we've already covered 3,000 miles. Our bodies are exhausted. We've been drinking the whole trip, we're tired, but uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna settle in and throttle through.
we back on the 10? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're at the creamery in Utah. We had to stop and uh, check out some ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream. Hey guys, two lane life here. Uh, this morning we started off in Rock Springs. Where are we at right now? Viva Las Vegas yeah, is where we are. are. <laughs> so we made it. It was a 600 mile day. We went we went through some pretty hot weather. Yeah. Uh, but it was really nice to show up where we're staying here and get a great shower in and go have a great meal. Had a nice dinner. Here we are at the casino. So let's let's we're gonna test our luck here. Yep. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Let you know where we're going. Yes, sir. So it's Wednesday morning, day 10 on our 2020 Sturgis, the 80th uh, ride that we just came on. We're in Las Vegas right now, and I think it's about 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, we're going to try to beat the heat and get home. Uh, we actually need to get into the shop and get some orders done. Um, but what a great run, you know. We had uh, breakdowns, uh, which, <laughs> yeah. you know, when we did our packing video, we said, hey, pack some tools. And right. Uh, we probably overpacked. Some of you guys made some mention about, you know, you guys take too many clothes. Well, that's true. We did. Yeah. Um, we didn't follow our own instructions. No, but what a great time with great guys. <laughs> Enjoyed the the ride there. It was epic. The ride back has been wonderful. We have had some heat, though. Yeah, we rode through 113. Uh, this morning's nice and cool, so we're going to beat the heat home. Yesterday afternoon was 110 degrees, but... We went through what, Arizona, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Wyoming, yes, Wyoming into Sturgis, and then Wyoming back through Utah. Yep, so uh, what a great run. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, looks like it could be the movie of the year. Yeah, maybe, maybe, <laughs> but hey, we'll see. Uh, if you enjoyed this as much as we did. If you, if, if you enjoyed this as much as we did, I don't know what the heck you're saying. <laughs> it again. You, <laughs> if you had as much fun watching this vlog as we did making it, then a good time was had by all. That.